Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Farhat, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of energy. I have placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 3. Four similar sized blocks P to S were set up as shown below. You can see that the blocks were all hung from the ceiling. We are supposed to look from the statements which are correct. Statement number 1. R has less gravitational potential energy than P. Since we are comparing the gravitational potential energy possessed by these objects, let's recall the two factors that affect the GPE possessed by the object. The first factor is its mass, and the second factor is the height above the ground. Let's look for block P and block R. What can you say about their mass? They have the same mass of 200 grams. But what about the height above the ground? Object R is at a greater height above the ground. Let's write that down. Since object R is at a greater height above the ground compared to P, would R have more or less GPE than P? R should have more GPE than P. So statement 1 is out. Let's take a look at the second statement. Q has the greatest amount of GPE. Let's find object Q. What can you say about its mass? Object Q has the greatest mass. And what about its height above the ground? It also has the greatest height above the ground. So what can you say about the GPE possessed by object Q? Since it has the greatest mass and height above the ground, object Q would have the most GPE. So is statement 2 correct? Statement 2 is correct. But let's take a look at statement 3, just to confirm our answer. Statement 3. Objects P and S have the same amount of GPE. So we have object P over here, and object S here. What can you say about its height above the ground? Both objects are at the same height above the ground. But what about the mass? S has greater mass compared to P. So, what can you say about the GPE possessed by object S? Would it be the same? No, S would have more GPE than P. So this statement is not true. Statement 4. Q and S have the same amount of GPE. We have already established in statement 2 that Q has the most GPE. I'm going to write that down. So can Q and S have the same amount of GPE? No, that's not possible. So statement 4 is also out. And this confirms our answer as statement 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!